So what happened on the day of Pentecost? 17 different language groups were gathered in the city of Jerusalem. And on that day, when the Holy Spirit came, people from Galilee were speaking all these different languages. And the Spirit moved to create a movement of the church in the people in their own tongue. Now, there was no one in control. There was no institutional form. There were some apostles that were appointed, but they couldn't control what it was the Spirit was doing. And that the, the demographics of that city, 17 different language groups, was made that city very cosmopolitan simply because of the, the gathering of the peoples to Jerusalem for a, a, a special day of worship. Today we find that cities are again these cosmopolitan cities. You can go into any city in the world. You could go to Beijing, Paris, London, New York, Chicago, any major city, and you're going to find multiple different language groups speaking out of their own tongue, their own language uh, group. In the Western world today, many of the churches that are formed are, are uh, out of a previous generation. They're formed in an institutional way where if we did that at the most excellent level, we would really only reach 40% of the population. A good majority of the population, population today is becoming uh, uh, multicultural. We have to understand how to do mission in our own context here in the Western world and of course in any other nation. Now, one of the places where you find the nations coming and being expressed and the, the language groups gathering is on the university communities. Students from all over the world are studying all over the world. Students are some of the most migratory beings on the planet today. They're moving around and they're studying and they're learning and the opportunity for the move of the Spirit during this day is amazing. We need to be in the context of the university communities today where we can capture what God is doing, walk alongside Him and fulfill His purpose in reaching every nation. But we need to go deeper than simply reaching an individual for Christ. We need to go deeper into the foundations of who they are as a person, their calling, their purpose as individuals, the fulfillment of what God has breathed and designed into them needs to come forth. If they're engineers or business people or educators or social workers or medical workers, they need to be able to walk into that fullness of that calling and the expression of their worship, offering their entire lives as a sacrifice before God. You see, calling is engagement with the world in response to God. Until we do that and go deep in every culture and every nation, until we go that deep in even our own disciples, I think we're missing a great opportunity to fulfill the work of God in our generation. We won't do it otherwise.